You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Room. Not even a whole packet crushed in a blancmange could take him down. Well, we've tried many times. Mm. So, welcome to our show. It's marvellous. What have you got for us today, Mike? Well, this week I've got a story about something that's being neglected. It's not my sex life. Okay, yeah. On screen now, you can see our contact info. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us. The Cud.tv for our website. And on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as names whiz along the bottom of the screen, we get ready for this week's showbiz with Lee. Off we go. Are you a Julian Clary fan? Uh, yes and no. I, I do like the comedy. You do like the comedy? I like the comedy. Not a massive fan of like the soap opera type of thing where he does serious acting. Not a... Oh, OK. He's a stalwart of British Innuendo. comedy. And, and yeah. yeah, so like he's Innuendo. yeah he's he's heading out on tour, Ooh. and he's saying it's like a volcano, and he's ready to erupt because <laughs> mm, he's got all this suppressed filth inside him. We've all been ready, there. Yeah, we've all been. Do you know he's sixty-two? I can believe it. I didn't realise he was he was so so mature in years. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, he's going out on his tour called Born to Mince. There's a oh. picture of the tour. I don't think that's him now. I think that's from a while ago. <laughs> I think yeah. that might be a cartoon rather than it an actual could be. picture. So what he's telling us is his eruption has been delayed because of lockdown. Okay. So the original version of the tour was supposed to go out three years ago. Obviously, we had the Rona and years. the restrictions. and But yeah, it was kind of, but then you weren't allowed. And then sometimes you were, sometimes, yeah, it was all that blah, blah, blah. So he's going to be spreading his filth uh, throughout the land in a tour that's that's been adapted. So, okay. so you know, this is this is, yeah. Then and now. Then and now. Then and now. There's some Julian words. then. No, Julian, Julian now. Julian then. Julian now. Julian then. Julian now. The young one is him then. Yeah. <laughs> and the older um, one is yeah. not. So um, he's kind of had to adapt it a bit because obviously he's out and about in the world again, so he could change it. So he's talking about doing a pantomime with Johnny Osmond at the Palladium. Mm -hmm. Random. Um, what, the, that he's doing a pantomime? It's with Donny Osmond or that it's at the Palladium? I know, I know he does pantomimes, yeah. but I can't imagine it's a particularly... Well, Donny Osmond's very clean cut, isn't he? I don't think we're talking about fisting Donny... Donny, <laughs> Donny Osmond. Know. And he said Donny Wahlberg, <laughs> but that's just my fantasy. Um, so, um... <laughs> he's from your kids on the block. I don't... Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm aware, but nobody else would be. <laughs> no. It's a very, very 1980s No, reference. they won't. So, there's going to be... Because when you go and see him in, in his show, he does lots of interaction with the audience, which is a bit squeaky bums on seats time. So, if you're a person that's booked... Very close to the stage. Shame on you, because he will find you. Um, <laughs> yeah. We well, so, also pick some people in the, in the back. Some people in the gods is there going, hello over there. Yeah, but you're a bit safer if you're that far back. Yeah. So what he's saying is in the second half, controversially of his show, mm -hmm. he's going to conduct a heterosexual aversion therapy experiment with the audience. So he's going to be wiring up the intimate parts of, of, of straight men's bodies, uh -huh. um, showing them photographs of Anne Widdicombe, Mm -hmm. Dame Joan Collins, and if they show a flicker of arousal, mm -hmm. is gonna is gonna electrocute them. Right. Um, Shocking behaviour. Oh, yeah, but um, British. Um, I Joan Collins isn't. Her, her, I mean, it depends if it's Joan Collins <laughs> <laughs> without wig, without makeup, because she's the witch. <laughs> well, so uh, the point with Anne Widdicombe. That's making me feel sick. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ooh. Big saggy breasts. Oh, dragged across the floor. Um, no. <laughs> what the breasts or her? All of it. Um, <laughs> so, so that's. I, I don't think he's actually going to be properly electrocuted. But who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Um, talking about council culture, which is very prevalent, he's saying that people who come to see me know it's going to be rude. It's not going to be politically correct. If I get cancelled, I get cancelled. Not really bothered about it. I mean, different to people's opinions. A bit like me. Um, I don't care. I don't care what people say. I just want to do what I do. Um, he was accused of being in a character of an effeminate homosexual years ago, mm -hmm. so nothing is new. Um, he's had loads of stuff out and about over the lots, years. Yeah. He did Sticky Moments. He did his sitcom. He won CBB back in 2012. I didn't. I don't. I have no recollection of that whatsoever. Okay. Um, um, and, he, he and he's written um, children's books. Yeah, he did Prickly Heat, which was fisting. 
Um, I don't think his children books are that fisted. <laughs> um, Norman gets fisted. Um, that could be one of them. I don't think it is. Anyway, there we go. If you want, if you go and see it, let us know. What it is. <laughs> if you want to get fisted by Julie Clary, then. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you go see him and it's funny, let us know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bit of Britney Spears news now. Okay. Now, she's had a bit of a rough time recently. She, she has, yeah. She's 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 had all the the trouble with uh, conservatorshipism. Conservatorshipism is that a word? <laughs> no, it's a couple Cons of words stuck together. Conservatorship. Yeah, yeah, that's that. It. Um, earlier this year, she announced that, that that she was pregnant with with a baby with her with her fiance. Sadly, she she announced recently that she she lost the baby, mm -hmm. um, which is really sad. Um, yes. But she she um, seems to be taking things in her stride. She has a hot boyfriend. That's all yeah, that really matters. Can't be taking it in his stride. Mm. Um, so she, she, uh, no, she has had an obsession revealed by her boyfriend. Oh, okay. That she has an obsession with Brad Pitt. Oh, not anal then. <laughs> <laughs> she it's over the years. She's made no secret that she's had she had a, a, a crush on Brad Pitt. Mm -hmm. So she um, apparently had a, a photograph of him in her wardrobe that has not gone anywhere over the years. Okay. We all have a photograph. In a frame. Do you not? No. Do you have them on your phone instead? Oh, I have them on, I they're all in my mind. You're all in your mind. Um, so she particularly likes Brad Pitt when he was in Thelma and Louise. Okay. Kind of right I at the start of his career. Yeah, yeah. He was, um, he was cute. Um, so, he, I mean, he's 58 now, mm -hmm. um, but she's had a crush on him since she was a teenager. Um, we've got a picture. So her boyfriend, Sam, mm -hmm. Asgari, um, found this photograph not that photograph, that's just a picture of them in the hot tub enjoying the sexy times and whatever. Um, so he filmed himself teasing her for having a topless snap of another man in a frame in her wardrobe. Um, there we go. Um, he said, all right, we've got a huge problem. I don't think he said it like, all right, we've got a huge problem. Uh, my girl got a picture of this. Who dis? Brad Pitt. So yeah. she was she, <laughs> she was heard in the background saying the one and only, um, and he held up a tiny pink hairdryer. To imitate the pose, tiny pink hair dryer. Um, <laughs> um, uh, from from his stint in the nineteen ninety with Thelma Louise. There you go. Um, she could be heard in the background saying, "That's good, baby, uh, baby," like that. Actually, that's the only way she says it, baby. Um, before he goes, I'm ten times better than that guy. Before placing the frame down on the dresser. Um, last bit of showbiz news. Let's take it back to a bit of wholesomeness. Um, do you want to go? Do you want to go on a bit of a cruise? Do you want to go on a gay cruise, Mike? Take it back to wholesomeness. Do you want to go on a gay cruise? <laughs> There's mean, a lot of semen, and I don't mean men that work at sea. <laughs> it's not specifically a gay cruise. Oh, okay. Um, but it's pretty gay. It's, it's a Golden Girls themed cruise. Yeah. So I'm not sure whether I'd be excited by this or it's an idea of hell. Is it a day cruise? No, it's like you're on it for a long time. Oh no, for like a week or so. Oh. So it's called. It's the, it's hosted by Golden Fans at Sea. Okay. Um, it's the Golden Girls themed cruise and take a thousand guests from sunny Miami, mm -hmm. which is where it was filmed, down to Mexico for an epic beach party. Oh nice. Um, and then so yeah, we've, we've this this isn't the actual Golden Girls because on board there's entertainment. So this is this is a group of Golden Girls drag queens. Okay. That you can you can go and see. Um, you can go and do like. Why do, have a, why do I have a think that you don't get to go and see them? You all you watch them. They're all dead, aren't no they? No choice. You can't see them. They're dead. No, no, the, the, the tribute. Oh, the please. tribute. No, well, I feel like you can't go. You're like, oh, I'll go and watch that. I think that you're being forced to watch it. Like at Butlins, you have to go and watch it. I mean, this is a picture of a past cruise. You know, you can dress up as as old women. Um, have fun. <laughs> but why? I don't know. People uh, like it, though, don't they? You see, I, 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 I'm all for a themed party, but if we look at this picture, you see the woman back there? <laughs> she's not having the best of times. <laughs> she's she's not, clutching the pearls, she, going, why she, the f*** am I she here? She was on the Cheers cruise. She's she's looking for she's looking out for She's coming dressed as Rhea Pillman. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I got the wrong 70s TV show. <laughs> Bit tall, she needs to crouch. So you can you can go and do quizzes. <laughs> you know that thing where people used to put shoes on the knees to make them look like they were small? I don't think that's very cultural appropriate now. But that's what they used to do. Yes. Um, <laughs> Um, so you can go do quizzes. There's guests who have, may have ties with the show. May have ties with the show. So we're probably talking <laughs> like the, the 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 catering people that brought in sandwiches or somebody who put lights up rather than anybody who's in it because they're all dead, I would say. Um, so, yeah, you can, there's writers that go on it. It's, yeah, if you want to go and do it, go and do it. It's, it, it's, it's, I was never really a massive Golden Girls fan, I have to say. You see, it's one of those things that I will watch it when I'm not feeling great. 
So I feel a bit fluey or something. I'll watch the Golden Girls. I'll have it on because I can... Fluey? Fluey, yeah. So clear your chest. Yeah, no, no, because it's something that you, you can have on in the background, enjoy it, and then accidentally nap, wake up, and it's... It's still the same story. It, it, it's un inoffensive. It's just there. It's... Yeah. So, yeah, if, if you want to get on a boat full of old women... <laughs> Come to my house. Could, yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> that's the end of this week's showbiz news. Thanks for that, Lee. Thank you for being a friend. Yeah. Um, I think I might have a bit of a rejig of the set. You're very welcome, but stick around because coming next is Mike with his little buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee. That's me and Mike. That's him. Now let's have him bring us the buzz. You use WhatsApp, don't you? I do, yes. Do you use it as a one-on-one -on -one or as a group communication tool? Bit of both. Bit of both? Mm, I, have, I have groups and I have one-on-ones. I do. Nothing rude. <laughs> groups of friends. And then single, single individuals, like not, but not sexual people. Oh, well, I don't, <laughs> just get on with it. You're, just, you're the one <laughs> digging away here, not me. Um, so they've, they've announced some new features. Have they? Yes, that will help you uh, ignore your annoying friends. You just mute them. Which is what I thought. Mm. Yeah, but no, there's, there's now a feature where you can literally appear offline to certain people. Okay. So. You know, when you appear online, people can still message you, even if you muted them. Yeah. Right. It just looks like you've not been on, online for a while. But isn't that just, not, hasn't that always been there? Yeah. Okay. No, because you go online and it says you're online. Not always. But for everybody in your group. So, this will, so when you message me, yeah. right, it will look like I'm not online. Because okay. I've, I've put you on this little list. Okay. Yeah. Um, but they've also looked some other... Other new features, mm -hmm. okay? So you don't just have to just ignore people anymore. You can also have sticker suggestions. So when you say, when you're typing in words, it'll come up, do you mean this emoji or this sticker? Does that not already happen? No. It does? No, officially it doesn't. Okay. So some phones do it as you're typing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the keyboards will say this. Yeah. But um, WhatsApp will start saying, do you mean this? Okay. I'll start prompting you for stickers. Okay. Is there one of a, of a, of a, of a, of a knife that goes across somebody's throat? No. <laughs> no. 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 Okay. okay. Uh, but also you get links previews as well, so you can just basically see a preview of what the link is when someone sends you a porn picture. This is fascinating. Yeah, it is. <laughs> great. It's great. It's an exciting news. So, so it says this is porn before before you open it. Well, it gives you a, a preview of the porn before you open it. Okay. So like it does on iPhones already. Right. So what the news tonight item here is is that that WhatsApp have said, oh, we've got these new features that already exist for everybody. Oh, okay. I didn't know whether you'd like just been employed by WhatsApp and you were trying to sell me something. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to sell you a free application. <laughs> yes. Um, please let us track you. Um, yeah, so this is the non-news item that WhatsApp are releasing these features that have already existed for the majority oh, of people awesome. on their phones already. Great. Yeah, and they're owned by Meta, or of course... Facebook. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, so are you excited about these new features? Whew. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good, because you shouldn't be. Um, moving on quickly. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, you've been on holiday, haven't you? I have been known. Yeah, have you ever been to an all-inclusive holiday? No. no. It's something I'm very tempted by. Why are you tempted by it? I just like the idea of just never, just, just, just filling my fat face all the day long and <laughs> never stopping <laughs> and until my would, heart bursts. <laughs> and what would you be filling your face with? Food. The locals? Or? No, food and drink. Food and drink. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I think the time has... You've missed your, your window of opportunity. Why well, are they? Oh, are they doing away with all-inclusive? No, they're still doing all-inclusive, mm. but they're not saying that all-inclusive means unlimited. Oh. Well, I kind of knew that. that it's not always... It, it's like... So, like, breakfast is, like, between certain time. So you can so, yeah. just trough out between those hours. Right, Have okay. a little rest. Have a rest, Ed. Then go back for lunch. Several beverages. Yes. In the pool, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, no, because what they're actually saying is that now... You're not be able to just go out and pig out and drink as much as you want during those times either. 
Oh. Right? As a British man has been furious. I see. Right? As he found out he's limited to six drinks all day. Oh, well, that's not very much, is it? No. Um, so, <laughs> basically what this means is the people on the all-inclusive um, holidays have been told that it's all-inclusive, not unlimited. Okay. Right? They're different things, so we can give you as little as we want to that's oh. included. So you need to look for an all-inclusive, unlimited... Exactly. Colored bobs. Yes. Um, this has come out last... Uh, Jason, who's 42, recently went to um, Majorca... Right, um, to celebrate his cousin's birthday for three days. Long time. Right, he'd splashed out. I love the phrase. Guess how much he'd splashed out for this holiday? About four hundred pounds. Two hundred and forty pounds for a three-night oh, trip. Oh well. Right, on the premise that it was all inclusive, so he, he didn't take any extra money. He was just going to trough out and drink out as much as he wanted. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I always found out that no, 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 you're limited. So did he starve then? Did he starve and die? Didn't starve and die. No, no. Oh, um, but this, this rule's been in place for since January. Uh, read so, the know, fine print, people. Five months in, it should have checked. Read the fine print, you greedy bastard. Um, <laughs> and that's all I've got to say. That's all you've got to say. <laughs> yeah, um, it's designed. It's designed to crack down antisocial behaviour. Well, I can imagine. But I mean. I think they should just crack down the antisocial behaviour rather than the drinking. Well, we know what certain people are like. That Why did you look at me like no, that I then? Didn't, it wasn't you. We know what certain people are like. No, but there are certain people in society, of our society, mm. um, in the UK, who do take advantage of situations and do see all-inclusive as I'm just going to drink alcohol all day long for the amount of time I'm going to be there, get absolutely wasted. And that, that's what causes the antisocial behaviour. No, you see, I don't, I don't agree with that. Alcohol doesn't cause the antisocial behaviour. People cause antisocial behaviour. Drunk people. Sometimes sober people as well. Yeah, you don't get a fight over a volivant spread, though, do you? Well, you've never been to my to, house. I say, you've never been to one of my family <laughs> weddings. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. I probably wouldn't go on that kind of holiday. No. 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 Not for me. Not for you. Not going for lads, lads, lads. No. I I would avoid that like the plague. Yeah, I've been for a lads, lads, lads holiday, but something very different. Mm. But if you want to interact with us on social media, we are at the Cud TV. And our website is thecud.tv. Where on YouTube we are under Chewing the Cud. That brings us quite nicely onto Story of the Week. Okay. Now, as I teased a bit earlier about something that's been neglected, right? And this is a confirmation that they're going to spend millions and millions of dollars to visit Uranus. Are they? Yes. They've decided that since no one's seen Uranus since um, 1986... They're not? No. Right? Um, they've, they've said things to look at Uranus. Is it not in the sky? Oh, the planet's called Uranus. Yeah. Oh, it's a very different story than I was it expecting. Is, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, the last time a, a spaceship went past um, Uranus was 1986. And so, no, and it's not been seen since, and has, has nobody thought, oh, where's it gone then? Well, it's been seen, it's just oh, not been looked up close. It's not like disappeared. No, because it's, it's a large thing. Right? So, because cause Uranus is so large, they it can't is. miss it. No. Right? They know it's there, but they've not had a good look at it, and it, they've been neglecting it. So yes, um, NASA have confirmed that they will go and see Uranus before um, the year twenty third. Where was it? Twenty twenty five. Yeah. I hope they give me enough enough time. Why? Just give give Uranus a bit of a brush. I'm, I'm sure Uranus white. will be fine. Do you think? Yeah. The last time they went, up, they saw some unexpected rings. Okay. And some deep impact craters. Really? Yeah. What 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 are, what are we talking about? What are we doing? <laughs> We're talking about Uranus. <laughs> what is Uranus? Is it a planet? Is it a star? What does it do? It's the seventh planet. What's the purpose of it? Purpose. What's the, What's the purpose? Harry? What's the purpose of Uranus? Yeah. Well, Uranus is, is one of the. Uh, well, it's not a moon, right? But it's one of the the um, solar system's hoovers. So it's on the outer end. Of I'm the bored now. Don't tell me anymore. So as it's going round, it, basically Uranus will suck up a lot of debris. Okay. Yeah. So things that'll go through Jupiter. Mm -hmm. Right, will be absorbed because it's quite big, but then the smaller things will be sucked up by Uranus. Okay, yeah, is that over now? It's not, it's not, why would it be over? So, the Uranus orbiter, they've called it, 
Okay. Yeah. You know, um, hasn't got a specific med- mission in mind. Just to go and look. Uh, it's, yes, it's going for a, a concept which is a, a decade long survey. Oh, 10 years. 10 years of staring deeply at Uranus. Uranus. Is, it, is it a manned mission? A, um, it, a personed mission? It, it is unpersoned. Oh. They're probing Uranus remotely. Oh. Okay. Not even yes. a little monkey. Huh? Not even a little monkey in a, in a space suit. <laughs> No. No? They've stopped doing that for quite really? a number of years. When did they stop doing that? Um, when they put a Russian up there. I like, there's nothing cuter than a monkey in a space suit. Freaking out because it's been catapulted around the Earth for no apparent reason other than going, will it survive? Well. Poke it with a stick. Poke Uranus with a stick. I'm not poking Uranus with a stick. A bonobo monkey. <laughs> what? Poke a bonobo bo- monkey? No, a bonobo monkey. Poking Uranus. Poking Uranus with a stick. Okay. Science. <laughs> that is science, that is. Um, but that's the end of the post this week. Thank you, Mike. I've never talked about Uranuses so much. Um, stick around, because coming up, we have our game of the week. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud. Now we're going to play our game of the week. And this week, we're all playing Ten a Man. Ten a Man, Mike. Ten a Man. What you need to do is you f- off the set. Get into position and we'll play the game. Game of the week. So, tenor man, what I'm going to do, well, you've, you've got 60 Earth human seconds to name 10 things in a subject that I'm going to give you. Okay. Okay? Ah, oh, All right. I'm okay with that. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose my first card, okay? And starting from now... I want ten Shrek characters. Shrek. Mm-hmm. Donkey. Mm-hmm. Puss in Boots. Mm-hmm. Lord Farquhar. Yes. The uh, fairy godmother. Yes. Um, Sonia. Sonia. Is that not the name of the woman? No. Sabrina. No. Fiona. Yes. Um, Dawn French. No. no. Jennifer Saunders. Your time is up. No, it's not. No, it's not. I can't see it. <laughs> All right. Um, you count? Are you counting how many you've said? No, you need to count. I haven't done that. Well, I've got eight so far. Okay, eight. Yes. Um, donkey. Yes. Puss in Boots. You've said that twice. Have I? Yes. That. Um, One more. The Gingerbread Man. Yes. Do you know the Muffin Men? Yeah. <laughs> so th- that would be you've got all ten there look yeah, and you have yeah. a few grains of sand I'm, I'm di- a bit disappointed you didn't do the Muffin Man thing do you know the Muffin Man that one no do you know the Muffin Man no <laughs> no you're supposed to say the Muffin oh, Man I don't want to do that <laughs> no. um, right so what <laughs> what right. colour do you want to go for do you want to go for a maroon or an orange go <laughs> for purple please purple yeah okay so, Raoul, you've got 10 seconds to name as many Wizard of Oz characters starting now. Toto, Auntie M, um, The Lion, yeah. Scarecrow, yeah. Tin Man, yeah. The Wizard, yeah. um, Dorothy, yes. Wicked Witch of the West, Wicked Good Witch of the East. No, the, yes. East and West, yeah, there are two witches. Um, and the Diddy Man. No. The Diddy Men, were there are no Diddy Men. Oh, the Yellow Bit Road. Yes, but they have a specific. Ooh, they have a specific name. They're not the Diddy Men. The Flying Monkeys. You can have the Flying Monkeys, which means you've got one left. Find. Huh? Because I'm not having the Diddy Men. They weren't called the Diddy Men. Were they not? No. Dorothy, Auntie M, Toto. Cowardly Lion. Huge Drew, Barney McGrew, Cuthbert, Devil and Grub. No. Oh, time's up. Bad times. Um, the word you were, you were scrabbling for was the munchkins. Ah. The Diddy Men? That's from, um, what's that Bucktooth Scouse comedian that's been dead for 20 years? Oh, the Diddy Men. Oh, tickle me. Oh. Um, Ken Dodd, yeah. Yeah. Um, Purple or orange? Orange, please. Okay. You have got ten seconds to name... Ten seconds? No, sorry, no. 
you have got 60 seconds to name 10 Christmas dinner foods starting now. Sprouts, turkey, yep. stuffing, yep. Um, potatoes, okay. cranberries, yes. parsnips, yes. gravy, yes. Christmas pudding, yes. mince pies, yes. carrots. This game's too easy for you. Too easy for you. Why is it too easy? Because you're getting them all straight after turn that upside down. <laughs> no no expense spared here. No in there? No. Okie dokie, purple or orange? Orange, please. Orange, orange okay. Please. You have got 10 seconds. I'm still getting 60 though. No, yeah. You've got 60 seconds to name 10 parts of a bicycle starting now. Their legs, their arms. No. You mean as in a, bi a bicycle as in yes. a thing? Oh, right, okay. Motor transport, not the other thing that you ride. Um, seat. Yes. Crossbar. Yes. Front wheel, back wheel. Yes. Spokes. Yes. Gears lever. Yes. Chain. Yes. Pedals. Yes. Forks. What? Forks. Yes. Things in front. And um, brakes. Yes. Oh. A thrilling game this is, eh? Huh? What a thrilling game this is. What colour would you like to go for, Mike? Purple or, or orange? Uh, orange, please. Oh, again. Okay. So, you have got one minute, about okay. 60 seconds, fact fans, um, <laughs> to name as many dog films as you can, starting now. Now. K9. Is that a film? Yeah. Okay. Is it on the card? No. I can't have it, can I? Can, I? can you not have it if it's not on the no. card? Oh, it's got to be on the card. Yeah, otherwise there's no point. Okay. <laughs> um, is this why it's bad being getting them all? Because I've just been naming Possibly. these that are on the card. Could be. Um, um, babe. That's not about a dog. The sheep pig, quite clearly a dog. No, it's not on the list. Um, old Yeller. No. Um, the Spice Girls movie. <laughs> you sexist pig. What? No, it's I'm not on there. One of them might have been a dog. Um, oh, um, how the tables have turned, Mike. How have they turned? Um, Ren and Stimpy show. Broomsticky show. Ren and Stimpy. No. A dog's life. No. Dogs. No. Oh, time is up. You could have had, you could have had 101 Dalmatians. Oh, okay. No brainer. Beethoven. Oh, yeah. Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Bolt. Cats and Dogs. Hotel for, ho Hotel for Dogs. Lassie. Marley and Me. Oh, Marley and Me. Oh. Boohoo, squish, squish. Scooby Doo. And Snow Dogs. I don't know that film. Don't know her. Don't know that <laughs> film. So what would you like to go for this time? Go purple. Go purple. Okay, right. So, you have got 60 seconds to name as f as many famous wizards as you possibly can. Starting now. Wizardora. <laughs> no. Wizardora was a wizard. Yeah, but it's not on my list because because now you've you've made me stick to the <laughs> rules. You're not getting it if it's not on the list. <laughs> AKA I was winning. You don't like it. <laughs> um, Grot bags. No. Gandalf. Yes, that's one. Um, I'm gonna say Jack Daniels. Paul Daniels. No. Um, Martin Clooney. Martin Clooney. Yeah. Who's that? I've, but no. I've got the confused between George Clooney and Martin Clooney's. No, then. George Clooney's definitely got some magic going on. No, but he's not a wizard. He's not on the no. list of wizards. Um, Chief guy in, front, in charge of the maiden, Masons? No. He's the Grand High Wizard. Think think more fictional wizards. More like. fictional. Um, Harry. Yes. Um, Bob. Oh. That times, I had to cut you off. You got two out of ten. Okay. You could have Albus Dumbledore, uh, Doctor Strange, 
Gandalf. You've got Harry Potter. You could have had Lord Voldemort. You got that one right, though. Merlin. Who wasn't fictional? Nicholas Flam Flamel. Who's that? Nicholas Flamel. I don't know who that is. Rincewind. <laughs> <laughs> I have no... <laughs> it's Rincewind. All characters' names now. Saruman or the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. But the wizard wasn't a wizard of Oz wasn't a wizard was he? It was just a guy with levers. Yeah, but he, 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 he Yeah, it was his name. It was his name, it was his name. Oh, I'm gonna call myself a multi billionaire, doesn't mean it's true, do it? Never. Um Um to see your chirpy demeanour somewhat diminished since I uh, started playing the game properly. Um <laughs> would you, would um what colour would you like next? Purple, please. Purple, another purple one. Okay. Um Oh, that! Oh, you're a bit cultured. You might get this one. You've got sixty seconds to name as many famous artists artists as you can, starting now. Uh, Michelangelo. Yes. Raphael. No, oh, no, don't be just doing turtles. <laughs> Donatella. No. Versace. No. Um. Have I had? Um. Oh, what was this name? Did the painting with the Turner? Yes, you can have that. Um, Lowry. No. Lowry was a painter. He was, but it's not on this list, Mike. I think I made it clear. If it's not on the list, it's not. You know that. You're like a really shit bouncer. <laughs> you know, it's not on the list. It's not worth a point. Um, sure, this is here. It's a badge. Tells me anyway. Um, who else have I had? So you've had you've had you've had two Turner Michelangelo and Michelangelo Raphael. Um Donatella No time's up man What's that? Um Monet Time is Monet Okay yeah you've got that I'll give you that Picasso Oh You could so you got three so you could have had Suzanne Degas Gainsborough You got Leonardo da Vinci Matisse you got Michelangelo, you got Monet, you got Renoir. Oh, I love a, I love a Renoir, me. Nice coffee Renoir. Um, a, a Rousseau, a Rousseau uh, and a Turner. So you got three, three out of ten. Sure, I said Turner. I don't think you. Yeah, you did. So I got more than three. three. No, it was three. So <laughs> if you can, if you can heart rate, can just lower a little bit after that. Stay with us because after this quick break, it's that science that is. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud, Cudsterinos. Now it's that part of the show. It's that science that is. That science that is. So Lee, um, we've spoken about bodily fluids quite a few times. We have, but those were personal conversations, Mike, not meant for discussing, aren't they? Um, well, you said... I was talking about the ones that we've done on that science that is around the actual conversation oh. about your discharge. Um, because we've done quite a few of them, but we've, there's one that we've missed quite often. Is there? Yes. Which one's ha which one haven't we done? Well, we've done snot. Yes. We've done semen. Uh huh. We've done poopy dupes. Yeah. We have yet to do blood. Did did do you not do blood with somebody else? Oh, no, 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 with Jay, we, we tested blood, but we didn't actually oh. know what blood was made from. Are we going to make some blood? We're going to make some blood. <gasps> yeah. Wow. Now, what do you think the biggest ingredient is in blood? Blood. Okay, blood is made up of things. What do you think the oh. biggest thing it is made of? F f water. Or plasma. Oh. The, the fluid yes. in which the cells are suspended. Indeed. So I've given you a, a, a nice big glass jar full of plasma. plasma. Oh. Yes, yeah, so it's slightly it's a slightly viscous liquid. It is. Yeah. Right. And all this is it's basically just um water and salts and just a, a fluid to suspend the cells in. Oh, okay. okay. Like jism. No. Not like jism. No, okay. No, it's just a fluid, it's plasma. Um so we need to start building our blood though. Do we? We do. Okay. Now the first thing we need is the things that make blood red. <gasps> what do you think they are? Like in real life or in yeah. the body? In, in real life, what do you think those red things are? That I've got on the table. 
No. No. What 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 you want me to say? The word. Is it platelets? Platelets is a part of blood, which is good. The thing that makes blood red is the actual red blood cells. Well, that was very obvious. I didn't think I was. I, w- I would have said that, but I didn't think. I don't know. So on, on your table, you should have some simulated red blood cells. I do. Yes, these are not small confectionaries with the letter S stamped on them at all. No. So do you want to dump your red blood cells into your plasma? I will. I just 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 test one first. Oh yeah. You see how they've not, they've not just gone straight to the bottom, they've suspended themselves? They have, yes. And the thing about red blood cells is as you mix them in, they will stain your plasma red. I hate it when that happens. Well, it's supposed to happen like that. I hate having my plasma stained red. <laughs> but that's because the volume of red blood cells in your plasma... You... <laughs> <laughs> so if you look pretty much instantly, your, your plasma should stand... If it is! You... Yes. It is indeed staining my plasma red. <laughs> Why is that funny to you? I don't know. <laughs> okay, the next thing that's in blood and moving quickly on is your white blood cells. <gasps> okay, now the red blood cells, that they carry the oxygen around your body. They do. And they're, they're slightly concave. And I'll just grab an oxygen molecule and whisk it along. Yeah, and deposit it. Right, your white blood cells, are you eating them again? No, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't yet. Okay, um, the next thing you have is white blood cells, which are these little white things here. Would these be tiny marshmallows? Um, they are white blood cells. I might just have to try one. <laughs> yes, they are. Indeed, okay. white blood cells. They are white blood cells, right. Um, and what these do is these basically these protect your body. Yeah, so they're slightly bigger than the red blood cells and you get fewer in your blood. Mm. Yeah. But what these do is as they get um, infections and diseases and virus and things, they latch on and kill the virus. Ooh. Okay. So do you want to pop those into your plasma? Does a bit of a mix around. Do I need to mix them in? You need to mix your blood up, yeah. Mix in the blood. Mix in the blood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you singing? <laughs> it takes the lotion from the basket and passes it over its skin. That's not even the quote. It is. <laughs> it takes the lotion from the basket and passes it over its skin. Yeah, is that not it? Passes <laughs> it over its skin. No, is it not? It rubs it? it into the skin. Rubs it Passing into the skin. It over the skin. It's not oh, I've been work, saying the wrong it? thing for like decades. <laughs> it's like I'm going to take the lotion and just pass it over my skin. That's not going to make my skin lovely and soft, is it? Wafting it about. Well, I didn't understand. I'll have okay. to up my victim game now, next time <laughs> well, I... Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, so you've got your white blood cells and your red blood cells, so you've got to put protection in there. But what happens if you cut yourself, Lee? Bleed like a pig. At the minute, you would bleed like a stuck pig. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Um, because you don't have anything to stop it bleeding. Do you need a plaster? We need platelets for that. Oh. OK. Um, but... We've got gay platelets. Gay pla- we all have gay platelets. So if you have a look, you've got some rainbow platelets. Oh, better test it. Oh! I was a bit saddened then, because you know what I thought they were? Uh, I thought, do you know those little discs? Those little white chocolate discs? With uh, hundreds and thousands on top. I thought it was those. <laughs> you thought they were um, uh, are they razzles? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, they're just hundreds and thousands. Okay. I mean, platelets. Um, platelets. So, do you want to pop your platelets in as well? Give them a mix up. Mm-hmm. Mixing it up in the cup. What are you singing now? <laughs> Mixing the blood up in the cup. <laughs> <laughs> I bathed slightly, in his blood. I'm slightly concerned about you, Lee. Really, I am. Um, <laughs> but then, of course, you, you have other things that go in your blood as well. So it carries like vitamins and all the good stuff that gets absorbed into your bloodstream mm-hmm. as well. Okay. Um, 
but your main constitutive of fresh blood are just those three things. Is that all? That's pretty much everything, yeah. Wowzers. Now, I, I normally know the answer to this question. I think I might get a different answer than usual. Would you like to taste your blood? I think I need to. I think you need to, too. What, what was this flobby stuff first? Was that jelly? <laughs> no. Nope. Before you make me, uh, what was it? Is it lard? <laughs> So yeah, did you like to try your blood? Is it a, is it a shot of potent dud now? <laughs> no? Would you like to get a sip, try it and find out? You're not even using the cup, you're just taking it from a spoon. I'm gonna take, take a good drink of it. No, I'm going to put a Take little... a drink no, of I'm it. No, I'm not, I'm not, no, Mike, no, I'm not. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Blah. Blah. Why don't you like it? What is it? What is that li <laughs> horrible viscous liquid? It's plasma. What? No, what is it really made out of? Because it's disgusting. It's oily. <laughs> it's, it, has a, it has an unpleasant residue. <laughs> what is it? What have, you, what have you made me put in my mouth? I'm not joking. I want to know. What is it? Is it like bone marrow or something <laughs> from a cow? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's something horrible, isn't it? Because you wouldn't be laughing that funny, that hard. What is it? Oh dear. Uh, um, so that's circulating blood. What is it? <laughs> Don't move on. I want to know what it is. What is it? Uh... <laughs> so yeah, what? So that's simulated blood and that's science that is. What? No, we've not finished this. <laughs> I want to know what this is. What is it, Mike? Mike, what is it? Seriously, is it somewhat horrible? Is it like fish? fish? That's science that is. Sorry, you made me cry laughing. Oh, we're not carrying on until you tell me what it is. <laughs> it? it was plasma. No, it wasn't. What was it? What was that stuff? Because you mixed that like 14 hours ago. Yeah. What was it, Mike? Is it jelly? Is it gelatin? No, it's dried plasma. So what they do is they use a centrifuge to separate out the different la layers of blood into the cells and things. Right, and that gives you the plasma, and then they just dehydrated it. You made me eat. Freeze dried plasma. You have some, eat it. Oh no, I know it tastes vile. <laughs> you thought it was going to taste lovely, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> you saw all these lovely sweeties and things going in and thought, oh, lovely. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Is it me now? Is it me to round off this shit show? Is it? Yeah. That's almost yeah. the end of the show for this week. Remember to join us on our social media at the Cud TV. Our website is the cud.tv, and of course on YouTube and podcast, just search for Chewing the Cud, where you will find me murdering Mike. <sighs> oh dear. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye. It's just gelatin, you weirdo. <laughs> it does not taste nice. Why though? Because it should be jelly. Well, it's just gelatin, it's not got a flavour to it. Oh, I'm sorry.